Good evening. Good evening, Miss. Hello, okay. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear that. I'm good. I'm pretty good. Thank you. Yeah, not too bad. Um, how was your uh, day today? Pretty good. Did you guys it was a good day. It was a good day. Yes. Okay, yes. good. Yeah, because Mondays are sometimes difficult. <laughs> yeah, right? that's true. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> Mondays are one of those days where you're like, oh, yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 um, one of it's probably difficult, the most difficult day to get up. <laughs> right. Yes. yes. And the day that probably there's more work. How was your day, Jorge? I teacher, <clears throat> my day is... My day is cool. It's um, fue. Como se dice? Was. Was. Where. Was. Where. My what? day were pretty cool. Pretty no, cool. was, was, was. Yes. Jorge, can you hear me? Was. Ah, my, yes. I hear you. Okay, good. Good, good. Yeah. Yeah, so your day was Yeah, good. I have, I, I have, yes, I have a good day. Yes. Oh, um, good. Uh, um, yes, uh, for this week uh, in my work, we have uh, one celebration, um, Father's Day. Oh. And, and I, I expect that. Right. Okay, okay, good, good. So you celebrated Father's Day. Or you're going yes. to celebrate Father, Father's Day. We are going to. Mm, okay. On Friday. Ah, okay. I see. I see. Good. Yeah. Good, good. Uh, talking about that, this Friday, no, no, no class, right? No, we finish. We finish tomorrow. Tomorrow. Ah, okay. Fine, yeah. Fine. Yeah. So yes. this week, no, no class. Like. The rest of the okay. day, well, week. Well, well. I, I don't know exactly when we start again. I, I don't know that that detail, but I do know that Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday should not, there should not be class. No. Okay. Yeah, there shouldn't be. And you will be in the teacher for the next model. I don't know. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> I, I wish I knew, but I, I don't know. I have no uh, idea. Yeah. yeah. Um, we, okay. yeah, I, it, sometimes we rotate, sometimes we continue with the same groups. So I don't know. Yeah. Um, I have a question. Can you guys hear me okay? Yes, teacher, I can hear. Okay. Yes, it's just, sometimes I see that my, my video is a little slow, so I'm wondering if maybe my internet connection is not that good. Yeah, don't worry. Okay, okay. all right, good, okay. good. Okay, excellent. Um, all right, hello, Edita Dilia. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hi. Hi, I'm fine, thank you. Good, good, excellent. Um, uh, are you having problems with the with uh, the camera? I can't uh, see you. No, porque no estoy en la casa. No estoy uh, ni en el trabajo, sino que voy en camino. Oh, okay, okay, bye. But but uh, can you can you turn on your camera when we when I pass the attendance? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you. 
All right. Um, excellent. Okay, so guys, I'm going, speaking of the attendance, I'm going to take attendance right away. Oh, um, be, no, before I forget, eh, ¿hay alguien que todavía esté pendiente con documentos o ya todos entregaron? Entiendo que en mi trabajo lo enviaron. Jorge, perdón. Yo igual vi un correo pasar ahí. Bye. Perdón, perdón. Ok, esperen un momentito. Eh, voy a ir uno a uno. Um, Jorge, usted dice que usted entiende que... que... Ya lo enviaron. Ya okay. lo enviaron el viernes pasado. Ah, perfecto. Ok, muy bien. Muy bien. Eh... Y en su caso, uh, Denise, ¿qué dijo? Uh, no, solamente daba la duda si se había recibido, porque de parte de, de los humanos eh, lo mandaron y vi el correo que se mandó y pidieron confirmación, pero no tuvimos respuesta. Entonces no sé si al final si lo recibieron o no. Ok. Bueno, si no han, lo han contactado, lo más probable es que sí. Eh, porque normalmente contactan si, si no lo tienen todavía. Um, solo una pregunta. Jorge, ¿usted está con la, alguna otra persona en la clase? ¿O solamente es usted en, en, en el, de su empresa? De mi empresa hay tres, pero eh, están en otro módulo. En otro módulo. ¿En ese módulo no? No, en ese módulo okay. no. Perfecto. Y Denise, ¿en, ¿hay alguna otra persona con usted de este módulo? Hola, bonito. Ok. Ok. ¿Y Mayra? Tampoco, teacher. Soy la única. So, pero, pero ya se mandó. Sí, ya, ya confirmaron de recibido también en la semana pasada. Perfecto. Ok. <risa> eh, ¿Y en el caso de Viviana? ¿Ya, ¿Ya está dentro todos los documentos? Mi teacher. Ajá, sí, sí. Ok, ya, yes, teacher, ya. Ya, ya, ok, perfecto. ¿Y sí, hay, sí. hay alguien más de su empresa? No, solamente yo. Solo usted, ok. Sí. Um, ¿Ana Victoria? Este, la semana pasada entiendo que enviaron los documentos. Y me enviaron de ese foro un, un correo, no un correo, sino un mensaje diciendo para la evaluación del día de mañana. Yo entiendo que ya lo dieron por recibido. No, pero es que. Eh, pero esa es otra cosa. O sea, eh, la, la encuesta de mañana es otra cosa. Pero. Um, pero sí, sí está segura que, que sí se mandó sí, el. Mi... Sí, mi jefe me copió a mí del correo que había enviado. Perfecto. Ok, muy bien. ¿Y hay alguien más de ese grupo que se conoce? No. Mi... No, ok, perfecto. Ese grupo no. Ok. Eh, hello, Carlos Elicer. Hello, teacher. Um, una pregunta y... Eh, ¿Su empresa ya mandó todos los documentos? Uh, sí, la semana pasada. Si no me equivoco, el viernes me confirmaron que ya lo habían enviado. Perfecto. ¿Y sabe usted si hay alguien más en ese grupo que mm -hmm. sea de su misma empresa? No, de mi empresa creo que solo yo estoy ahorita. Ok, muy bien. Ok. Gracias. Y quiero ver, Marlon. Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, ¿Ya mandaron de su empresa? Sí, ya. Okay. Enviar. Muy bien. ¿Y sabe usted si, um, si hay alguien más en este grupo de su empresa? Sí, habemos tres. Ok. ¿En este grupo quiénes son? Sara y Raquel. Sara y Raquel. Raquel de la Rosa. Okay. Y Sara Cosme. ¿Perdón? Sara Cosme, de Cosme. 
Ok, perfecto. Ok. Ok, perfecto. Um, quiero ver, quiero ver. Um, Ismael. Good evening, teacher. Oh, good evening. Eh, ¿Ya sabe con seguridad si han mandado de su empresa la, la documentación? No, realmente no he consultado, pero creería yo que sí. Siento haberla mandado hace bastante, hace como un par de semanas. Ok, podría confirmar mañana, por favor. Una, sí, una. seguro, no hay problema. Ok. ¿Y hay alguien más de su empresa con, con usted? Eh, ¿Quién es el grupo? Eh, Yvette. 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 Eh, no sé. eh, Sandra Yvette. Sandra Yvette. ¿Quién? Ah, Sandra. Sandra. Yes. Uh -huh. Vale, no se ha conectado todavía, no podemos preguntar. Ok. Um, muy bien. Ok. Um, Okay, quiero ver, quiero ver. Okay. Sergio. Hello, Sergio. Hi, teacher. Es, ¿Sabe usted, um, tiene confirmación que ya se ha mandado de su empresa la documentación? Mm, fíjese que ya lo voy a seguir. Para el próximo. Ah, ¿no va a seguir? No. Oh, ok. 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 Eh, solamente sí le, le recuerdo que aunque no siga, eh, lo de la encuesta de mañana sí tiene que completarlo. ¿Verdad? Okay. Porque esa, la encuesta pertenece a este, a este módulo. Ok. Ok. Perfecto. ¿Hay alguien más en su, de su empresa en ese grupo? No. Ok. Bien. Um... Eh, y quiero ver... Edith, Edith Adilia. Hi. Hello, Edith. Um... En mi empresa... En mi empresa uh -huh. ya los mandaron, creo. Tengo entendido que ya los mandaron. Ok. Eh, ya, ¿Ya usted preguntó? Sí, me pregunté. Ok, perfecto. ¿Y hay alguien más de su empresa acá? No, no, nadie. Solo yo. Ok. Muy bien. Um, y a Salia. Good evening, teacher, everybody. Good evening, Asalia. Um, ¿Tiene problemas con la cámara? No, teacher, estoy terminando de cenar. Sorry. Oh, ok, ok. Um, quiero saber si uh, ya su empresa mandaron la documentación. Sí, sí, es, ya estuvo. Ok, perfecto. Eh, ¿Y hay alguien más de, de este grupo? Um, ¿Con usted en, de la misma empresa? Eh, no, eh, van a estar pero en otro módulo. Okay, módulo 1 pero... y módulo 3. Eh, okay. Yo voy para módulo 4. Muy bien, entonces de este grupo no. No, teacher. Ok, muy bien. Y quiero ver, Vilma. Vilma. United Chair, eh, me, yo no voy a seguir el otro módulo, por eso no lo hemos enviado. Ah, ok, ok, uh -huh. entiendo. ¿Hay alguien más de, de el, su empresa en ese módulo? No, Teacher. Ok, ok. Bye. Eh, entonces solamente también recordarle que eh, la, la, la evaluación del día de mañana eh, siempre le va a tener que hacer, aunque no siga, ¿verdad? Porque eso se pertenece a este módulo. Okay. 
Ok, teacher, no hay problema. Ok, perfecto. ¿Alguien más? ¿Hay alguien más? No, 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 nadie. Creo que le, ya les pregunté a todos, ¿verdad? Si no me equivoco. Jorge, no, Jorge no, ya estuvo. Quiero ver. Yo creo que sí, ya estuvo todo. Ok, muy bien. Ok, excellent. Um, bueno, perfecto. So what we're going to do, we're going to take attendance uh, right now. So please listen for your name and um, tell me when you when you, you hear my name that you're present. Ana Victoria Galán. Present. Excellent. Asali Melanie. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Um, Carlos Alberto Reo. Ah, Carlos, Carlos, me falta. Um, ¿Alguien sabe algo de Carlos? Okay. Um, Carlos Eliezer Dimas. Carlos Eliezer. Ahí he dicho. Ok. Um, ok. Tenis Alejandra. Uh, Sonia. Here, present. Excellent. Diana Jamilet Maravilla. Present, teacher. Wonderful. Edith Adilia Hernandez. Present. Okay. Uh, can you turn on the camera for the attendance, Edith? <laughs> Perfect. Thank yeah, you, you very go. much. Excellent. Okay. Um, Ismael Ernesto Boyat. I'm here, teacher, present. Wonderful, thank you. Uh, Jorge Ernesto Hernandez? Present, teacher. Excellent. Marlon Daniel Miranda? Present. Excellent. Uh, Mayra Elizabeth Lazo? Present, teacher. Excellent. Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa? Present. Excellent. Sandra Yvette Mendoza. Present teacher. Excellent. Sara Rachel. Salazar. Teacher. Yes. Eh, Sara creo que está teniendo problemas porque, bueno, yo porque vivimos en el mismo sector y la energía se está yendo. Como que está queriendo venir una tormenta bastante buena. Ah, Entonces, sí. creo que ambos tenemos el mismo problema. Ok, ok. Sí, a mí. Sergio Chamorro. Present teacher. Excellent. Y Vilma Elizabeth. Present teacher. Perfect. Thank you. Ok. Uh, perfect. So, we're going to start... Please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Yes, miss. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. So this is the Force English Forward program. It's day number 19. The date is Monday, June 12, 2023. And your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. As always, a reminder that questions need to be asked in English. So if I ask you any questions, you can say, excuse me, can you repeat that? Can you speak more slowly? How do you spell? Uh, what's the answer for number four? How do you say, and you say the word in Spanish in English, what does, what, uh, what does and you say the word mean? And how do you pronounce the word? Uh, all right. So let's start. Um, all right, so using imperative, uh, sorry, uh, using imperatives to give directions. 
Okay, so yesterday we were looking a little bit about, um, sorry, not yesterday, on Friday, we were talking about um, giving a little um, directions, right? So let's talk a little bit about this. So we can say, um, go straight. Go straight. What does it mean to go straight? Do you have any idea what does it mean? Go straight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. It means to continue in the same in the, the same direction. Um okay, is that clear? Is that clear? Yes. yes? Okay. All right. Yes. Go past. Go past. Do you have an idea what that means? Go past? Go past. Uh, no, in my case, I don't know meaning. No idea? I'm not sure, teacher, about that. Proceder? Um, not exactly. Um, okay, it means when you have some a uh, some object or some place, and you are going in a direction, and that object or that place, we leave it behind. Okay, so you continue and you pass that object or that place. For example, is if in your way is the park, but you need to go um the health, the how do you say alcaldia? Oh, city hall. City hall. You, the park is go pass. The alcaldia. Go, yeah, go past the city hall. Exactly. So you're, okay. let's say that you are going to, yeah, so to the park, right? But to get to the park, first you will see the city hall. So you say, go past city hall. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, okay. Very good. Very good. Um, okay. So, how would you say that in Spanish? Pasando, quizás. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Could you repeat that? Uh, pasando. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Exactly. It's like saying yeah. It's like saying pasando, and then you say the, the object or the place. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very good. Go left. Uh, sorry, turn left. What does it mean, turn left? Go to the left. Yeah, exactly. It means to go to the to the sorry to the left, right? To go to the left or <laughs> the other left. Yeah, the other left. Yeah, exactly. The other left. Yes. And <laughs> turn right. The other. It's the positive. Yeah. Correct. Exactly. That one. Oh, now now it's to right. Turn right. Exactly the opposite. Okay. Good. Go up or go down the street? Yeah. Uh -huh. What does that mean? You need walk up down or you need... Yeah, you... 
Yeah, you need to continue the street, basically. You can you continue in a certain direction. So walking or driving or whatever it is, continue in the same direction. Okay. But it is it's uh, only for um pen pendientes. Can you repeat that? Si solo aplica para para pendientes. Pendientes. Eh, calle inclinada. Calle inclinada, Tiki. Oh, um, no, not necessarily. No, we can we can say go up or down the street. Um, but teacher, how how how. When do you know if, yes. if you're up or you're down? It's it doesn't really matter. You can say go up or go down. It doesn't matter. It's just it's just an expression. That's all it is. It's an expression. Go up the street. Go down and, the street. And and how how we know how to use go straight? How to use what? Go straight. Yeah, like exactly. It's, it, it, it's pretty much, it's the same. It's the same. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, they, they pretty much mean the same thing. Now, now if, if there is a hill, if there is a hill, then it's obvious that you're going to say, go up the street. Right? But if... And, and if it's a if it's a hill and you're gonna it's obviously gonna go down the hill but if not you can use it interchangeably if it's not very clear you doesn't really matter you can say go straight or go down the street or go up the hill street it doesn't really matter okay does that make okay. sense yes okay all right let's continue um walk oh sorry walk down the street it's the same thing it's the same thing as this yeah. one right here so um like i said it, and also the same thing is applicable right so um you can say walk up the street so it's the same thing Okay. It's just like different ways of saying the same thing. Depends, right? If you're if you're if you're literally walking, or if you're like taking a what's it called? Uh, if you're if you're in the car, so it really depends on that. Okay. Okay. Um, go on for two blocks. What does it mean? Go on for two blocks. En dos cuadras. O ir por dos cuadras, ¿no? Ajá, uh ajá, -huh, uh -huh, exactly. It means to continue, whether you, you whether it is that you're walking or you're driving for two blocks, right? So do, dos, dos cuadras, okay? Um, okay. Eh, all right, take the first left or take the first right what does that mean el primer camino hacia la derecha o a la izquierda toma la, la primera toma. salida yeah toma it means it means to turn to turn on the first the first street on the left or the first street on the right okay so the first street on the left or the first street on the right that's what it means okay so when you're walking or when you're driving you will see a street the first street that you see on the left you're going to turn or if you the first street that you see on the right you're going to turn. 
This is also applicable. You could be, you don't say necessarily the first left. You can take say, take the second left, take the third left, take the fourth right. Does that make sense? Yes, no. Winton. Yes, teacher. Yes. yes teacher. Uh, understand. Okay, perfect. Okay. So so look at look at these um at, at these way of 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 um giving directions or yeah uh, so when we are giving directions according to this do the phrases have a subject? Yes or no? If I say to you, go straight, do you see a subject? I don't see. You see a subject, guys? No, miss. No, no subject. There's no subject. OK. So in that case, since there's no subject, the rule is use a verb without a personal pronoun to give directions. This is what we call an imperative. When we're giving directions, when we're giving orders, when we're giving encouragement, we never use the subject. And the reason we don't use the subject is because the subject is always going to be you. It's always going to be you. Why? Because I'm giving the in, the instructions, I'm giving the directions, I'm giving the um, the order, I'm giving the encouragement to you. Okay? So it's like if I say to you, you go straight. Imagine it's like saying, you go straight. Okay? It's like saying that, you go straight. Or for example, you, um, you turn um, right. Or you go on for two blocks. Okay? That's, that's basically what you're saying. It's you and it, the you can either be singular you, like only for one person, or it can be you like two people or three people or five people or 10, you. But the, su the subject is always going to be you. It's like when you say in Spanish, um, continúa recto or continúe recto or continúen recto. The subject so, continúa recto, that's for you, for tú, ¿verdad? Tú continúa recto. Continúe recto, that be for usted. Usted continúe recto. Continúen recto, it's like ustedes continúen recto. Eso, tú, usted, ustedes, in English, is the same. It's always going to be you. Okay, does that make sense? Yes, miss. Yeah. So because it's always you, it's it's obvious, it's given. So because it's obvious, and in that case, we're going to simply eliminate it. Okay, we don't need it. We don't need the you because it's obvious. So that's why we're not going to use you. Does that make sense? 
Yes, miss. Do you have questions? Teacher, it's correct to say go past two blocks. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Go back two blocks, yeah. Any other questions that you guys have? Are you sure? Are you sure you don't have any questions? Okay, all right. So let's look at this conversation here. Um, I need a volunteer. I actually, I need two volunteers, one to be speaker A and one to be speaker B. You can help me with that. Who wants to be speaker A? I can help with the speaker A. Wonderful. Thank you, Denise. Speaker A will be Denise. Who wants to be letter B? Speaker B? Me, teacher. Okay, great. Go for it, Jorge. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, good morning. Could you give me directions to the nearest hotel? Good morning. Sure. Walk down the street and turn left. Thank you. No problem. Simple, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, the person. So, a very simple way to ask for directions um, would be, could you give me, could you give me directions to, and then you fill it in with a place that you want to go. Okay, in this case, the nearest hotel. And then you start using these ones here. Okay, any questions at this moment? Um, what is the meaning of near, near, um, nearest? Nearest, it means the closest. Ah, um, okay. Um, yeah. El hotel más Yes. Nearest yes. is no. the superlative of the near. Yeah, exactly. That is correct. Okay. Anything else? Any other questions? No? So it's clear for everybody? Okay. Al parecer como que hay varias tormentas, pero ahorita. Yes, ¿Es correcto? Yes. yes, very, very much. Yes, miss. Y el internet como que... Ahí viene. Ahí viene. Elber. Elber. <laughs> Mire, ayúdeme con algo. Yo no entiendo eso. ¿Qué es eso? What? <laughs> we can explain it here, please. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, entendí. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, okay, got it. I, I, sorry, I, I was, I, I've, always, I've heard that expression. I'm like, but I don't get it. I, I, but now I did. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, Denise. That was enough. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. Okay, no, no se preocupen, chicos. Um, si, tienen, si están teniendo dificultad, 
Uh, no hay problema, continúen conectados lo más que puedan. Si su conexión está inestable um, por, 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 el, por las tormentas y todo, y creen que, um, que apagando la cámara les ayuda, no hay problema, pero lo importante es que se mantengan conectados, ¿ok? Ok, así que, yes, let's continue. Uh, any questions up to this point? No, it's oh, all clear. No questions. All clear. All clear. Perfect. Okay. So in that case, um, okay. You see, you you see my my side, right? Yes. Okay. Yes or no? You can you can see my yeah okay yeah, right. yes. okay so we're yes, gonna work yes. perfect so we're gonna work in pairs we're gonna draw a map and choose a location for the places in the picture below okay so right now I want you to draw a map. Simple map. Simple, simple map. Okay. And you're going to be adding to the map these locations. What is this? An ATM. ATM. An ATM. Very good. Exactly. ATM. This is a bank. bank. A bank. What's bank. this? Bank. Teacher, gas what station. Is it? Gas, gas, gas station. Yeah. So gas somebody station. had a question about this. Bank or bank? Bank. A bank. A bank. 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 Mm -hmm. bank. So we don't really say bank. bank. It's not bank. It's bank. 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 With e. With e. Mm -hmm. Bank. E -E. Bank. E bank. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, this is obvious, right? Restaurant and this one too, hotel, right? Okay, so make a very a very quick um a, a, a very quick and simple map and place these uh, these objects in the map. Okay, so I'll give you about you know four minutes to make a simple map, maybe in your notebook. Right or or if you have, if you have um, if you have printed the, if you have printed the what's it called um, the manual you can do it there too. Whatever works better for you, okay. Just like I said, a simple simple map. So hagan rayitas ahí para los las las calles. Simple. Jorge, um, did you did you solve the the exercise? Yes, miss. Okay. Okay, good. So so it it helped understanding that the the the, the verb was phone. Oh yes, yes, yes. Okay, 
All right, good. Uh, yes, thank you. Thank you, you're, miss. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, por cierto, chicos, um, se, me, se me escapaba mientras hacen ahí la, eh, el, el mapa. Se me, me acabo de acordar que eh, en el examen final, que veo que hay personas que ya lo hicieron y otras que todavía no. Um, entonces, uh, en el examen final, hay una parte, ya les digo cuál es. Denise, ¿cuál era? ¿Se acuerda usted cuál era la que me, me estaba preguntando la vez pasada? I think it was uh, the exercise 17. Okay, so it was it was in, in section four, right? It was it was unit. I don't four, remember right? it. Yes, I think it was four. It was not the final exam, right? No, 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 no. Okay, okay. All right, so in the final exam, let me see. Yes, in the, sorry, sorry, not in the final exam. In exercise four, I know, pardon. Okay, rewind, forget, okay, porren todo eso. In section number four, uh, unit four, Exercise or homework number 17, there is the number four, which is says you blank a picnic next Tuesday. And in parentheses, it says to have. Now, if you complete the sentence um, correctly, it will give it it will give it to you wrong. And the reason, the only reason why it will give it to you wrong is because you need to add the subject. So you have to actually put the word you in the answer. So I know that you is not part of the answer or it shouldn't be, but it's, it, but you have to put you so that it, it, it recognizes it as correct, okay? Porque de hecho estaba notando que hay algunos de ustedes que um, tienen como 96 en la, en, en la unidad 4 y creo que es por eso. Entonces ahí regre regresen ahí. So that's unit 4, homework 17, number 4. Just add the word you at the beginning. That's it. And it will and it will give you the right answer. Okay, Miss. Thank you. You're welcome. Any anything else, guys? If there's, thank if you. there's, if Be there's any. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Um, where I can see the notes? The grades. Um, yes, the it should way. say the grades should be where it says progress. There's a section that says progress. I'm una pestañita. And you have to you have to click on this says progress. Okay. Let me check. All right. Have you drawn the map? Yes, teacher, I finished. Yes, miss. Okay. All right. Um <laughs> Okay, so now what I want you to do is in the map, I want you to put a little dot or something that says you are here. Ya, ya han visto en los mapas que siempre dice usted está aquí or you are here? So I want you to put somewhere yes. in the map. I want you to put that. Okay, but, all right, now that we have that, it says, um, it says here, write simple directions, but 
I, I we're gonna skip that part because I don't think you need to write it. I think it's pretty. If you are able to say it, I think that's that's enough. So you're gonna take turns asking for and giving short directions. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna show you're, you're gonna have to show your 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 map to your partner. Okay. So I you see, van a tener que um, encender cámaras porque obviamente el compañero tiene que ver su mapa. Okay, so show your map to your partner and you're going to show, okay, you are here, right? And then your partner is going to ask directions on how to get to a specific place. So they can choose to get to the gasoline station or to the restaurant or the hotel or the ATM machine, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, and you are going to give directions you're going to tell them go straight turn left right um go up two blocks etc 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 okay is that clear for everybody is it clear or no yes sir. any questions you want to ask before we do this activity no means all clear. Okay. All right. Bye. Um, perfect. Okay, I'm going to assign you a partner. Um, ¿Quién de Edita Dilia? Usted puede encender cámara. Edita Dilia? No está Adi. Hi, aquí está lloviendo, teacher. Ok. Y se pero, corta cada rato. Ok, pero, pero podría usted eh, encender la cámara eh, por un momento, sí, por para, momento enseñar, sí. para enseñar el, el mapa? Sí. Ok, perfecto. Ok, eso, solo eso necesito saber por qué. Así, así puedo asignarla con alguien. Ok. Um, so, I'm going to create breakout rooms. And I'm going to give you about five minutes. Well, no, maybe maybe six minutes. Uh, six minutes. So, three, three minutes for each person, ok? So, you can show your map and then ask for directions and give directions. Okay, here we go. Um, teacher, uh, we don't finish the maps. It, it was just something simple. Mm. Uh, uh, for me, um, I finished, but Vilma don't, don't finish. Eh, Vilma, algo, algo bien simple, solo, o sea, yeah, bien sí. sencillito. Sí, es que se empezó a llover y mandé a... Ok, ok, ok. Ok, sí, pero no, no se preocupe, no tiene que ser elaborado, solo, o solo que tenga calle, sí. Sí, ya, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ok, yeah. perfecto. All right. Yeah. <laughs> 
voy a quitar este que se ve borroso para poderlo enseñar. Pues no, no se me irá. Ahí está. Así me quedó. No sé si tiene ahí el WhatsApp o okay, qué para, para mandar que dijo que le enseñáramos. Pero me quedó así. Ah. Es... Pero, pero, pero estoy acercando, pero no. Ajá, ah, así. Te... Casi, casi no se escucha nada. Ahorita no me va. Hi. Hello. Hi. Okay. Good evening. Would you hide, hide me direction to the Nears Hotel? Okay. The hotel is um, is in the principal street. It is on the principal street in the corner. From ATM. In front ATM. In the corner, in front ATM. Is on the principal street. In the corner, from ATM. In front ATM. Do you need other direction? Edith. Edith, ¿me escucha? Hi. Hi. Can you hear, hear me? The raining is is a star. It's a star. Oh, it's Sorry. Well, what is the question? Sorry. Um, in location, the restaurant, the re restaurant. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. From the hotel. From hotel. So okay. Okay. Yes. Um, okay. The restaurant is, is in front in of front. hotel. In okay. front of. In between in the hotel in the gas. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Between the okay. gas station and hotel. And hotel. Okay. Yes. Um, a location the ATM. Okay, the ATM is ATM. next to bank passing by the gas station. Okay. Don't the don't the street on the Next to bank, okay. Next, next the ATM is next to bank. Next uh, to bank. Mm -hmm. Yes. Next to the bank. The bank. Next, next to, to. Next to. The bank. The. The bank. Yeah, the bank. Ah, okay. I'm sorry. Um. So the uh, okay. Um. Uh, Mayra, have, have a problem with the internet and she left right now, teacher. She left right now? Yes, she had a problem with the internet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I, I just saw her a minute ago. Okay, uh, were you able to finish? Yes. In this moment, I she sent me the the second 
direction mm -hmm. the restaurant. Okay. All right, hopefully she connects again. Let me ask you then. Okay, so, oh, I, she just came in. I'll, I'll bring you, I'll bring her back to you. Hello, my uh, my um, Your microphone is turned off. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, I cross and go out to the internet. I don't know. Don't don't worry. Okay. Este, let me see the next. Um, okay. Hotel. Okay. Uh, mm, take the first left. Yes, this one yellow for the hotel. Um, Take the first left. Okay. Okay. In the restaurant. Uh, okay. In the restaurant. Let me see. Um. Go up to the street and in San Salvador. In San Salvador, but in Ciudad Delgado. Mm. Antes de que we finished, teacher. Finished, but teacher. I, okay, perfect. I don't, I don't, I don't sure the the answer. You're not sure about what answer. For example, I write the, the 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 example number one is the bank is located in two blocks and on the left after the restaurant in front of uh of gas gas station. Okay, I I don't know if that's correct because I don't I can't see your your map, <laughs> but but I'm guessing you're right. I mean the <laughs> the 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 instructions are. They sound correct. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, pero, um, no es necesario. O sea, es que. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you, Miss. You're welcome. To the left, so off to the left, and go right. Okay. No, okay, go straight. I'm sorry. Go straight. Go yeah. straight. Yes. The mm -hmm. ATM is at the end of the street. Okay, but I have. I want the street also. I cross the, the street at the side of the tiger. Okay, across the street. Okay. Okay. Yes. Um, and where is the bank? In the location. Yes. Okay. In the bank. In the location of Ian from ATM. ATM, yes. Um, next to uh, the first street. Yes. Um, Why is the uh, location the gas? 
the street. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What is the location by hotel? The hotel. Uh, and where are oh, you? Oh, oh, oh. Uh -huh. yeah. Hotel. And where are you? Uh, are you? <laughs> Desde donde al hotel? The, the bank. The bank, okay. Uh, um, the hotel is go uh, for the first street, yeah. then tour off to right, and the hotel will be there. Okay. Hola. Follow the speed street. Turn on to the right. And here is the folder. Okay. And the uh, street. Yes. Okay, guys, um, I gave you more time because many of you were having problems with um, with the connection. You were losing your 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 um, your partner. You were you were having problems with the um, with the the cameras and everything. So I gave you more time. Okay, any questions about asking and giving directions? Questions that you guys have? So it's clear? Yeah? Yes, no? Yeah, yes, yeah, this is clear. Um, I think we have to learn the vocabulary, right? Yeah, the, the correct vocabulary <laughs> right so yes i know okay. i know this is this is not i understand this is not the easiest topic um especially for um latin american people because of what we were talking about before right that you know these uh the, the directions that we give in latin america are are crazy. Um, okay, no problem, Ana Victoria. Thank you for letting me know. Um, yeah, so I understand that's not the easiest, but the more you do it, the more you will uh, you will get more comfortable with that. So this is just like an introduction to directions. You'll have a chance to to, um, to do this more often in other in other modules. Okay, so don't worry so much. Okay, all right, um, we're going to move on. And please tell me if you can see. My slide, my PowerPoint. Yes, you can yes, see it? Yes, Okay, so. Can you name five means of transportation?
five means of transportation. Can you tell me what they are? Airplane. Airplane, okay. Bus. Bus. Car. Car. Mm -hmm. Motorcycle. Motorcycle. Taxi. Taxi, okay. Very good, yes. Denise, taxi, very good. And what did we call this? Do you guys remember this? You remember what this was? We talked about this before. Helicopter. No, this one. Wow. What airport? This airport. Airplane. No, no, no. no, no but the means of transportation. Bus. Uh, yeah, Denise, exactly. You have the idea. Little. Uh huh. What's it called? Shuttle. Shuttle. Yeah. What kind of shuttle? What kind of shuttle? Uh, airport. Yeah, airport shuttle. Exactly, airport shuttle. Good. Do you prefer to go around? Sorry. Do you, Do you prefer to drive or to go around by bus or taxi when you travel? Oh, so train. Train is another. Oh, yeah, train. Yeah, that's right. So when you travel, do you prefer to drive or do you prefer to use the bus or taxi? I prefer to use a taxi. Okay, why? Why do you prefer that, Ismail? Because I like to sleep in the transportation. Okay, but in a taxi, I don't know if you're going, if it's a good idea to sleep in a taxi. Yeah. In the bus, yeah. In the bus. Yeah, in the bus, it's it okay. Usually. But the, the taxi, um, the taxi driver might dangerous. take you somewhere. Yeah, it's dangerous. He might take you it's somewhere dangerous. else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what about the rest of you? Do you prefer driving or the bus or taxi? Sandra, do you prefer bus, taxi, or driving? Sometimes I prefer uh, bus, taxi. Why? Because when I um tire, mm -hmm. I can drive it for a long uh, trajet. How do you say? Um, Large distance, yeah, a long distance, a long distance, okay, okay, and okay. yeah, okay, yeah, that's that that's that that's um very reasonable, right? So, if you're if you're traveling, you're probably tired, so you don't want to be driving, okay, very good, okay, so after considering that, let's talk about different means of transportation. So, these are the different types of transportation. So we have train, car, plane, motorcycle, subway, truck, helicopter, taxi, bicycle, and ship. Do we understand this vocabulary? What is, I mean, a ship? A ship, uh, for example, Titanic was a ship. For it's like a, it's like a boat, like a boat, but bigger. Ah, okay. okay. Any other words that you don't understand? What is subway? Subway. Subway is like a metro, but underground. Um, okay. Yeah, it's a subway. Mm 
Anything else? Okay, so you're gonna find these 10 means of transportation um, in the word search. So over here, try to find all of these 10, okay? Can you see it? Can you see the, the, the words? Yes, the letters, sir? Yes, miss. Okay, so go ahead. I'll give you a few minutes to complete this.
Okay, are you ready? Yes, the chair. Yes, everybody's got it? Yes, miss. Yeah? Okay, all right, remember, uh, I want you to give me directions based on, what are these? Going down, what are these? That's what are these? What are these guys? Hello. Uh, column. Columns, thank you. And these are? Rows. Rows, okay, good. All right, so tell me where is train? Where is train? Train is in the fifth column, fifth in the column. second row. Fifth column, second row. Second row. Yes. Wow. Good. Right. Okay. Car. Where's car? Mm -hmm. Where's car? Car is in the next to lot, the second lot, right? Se second to last what? Row. Row, okay. Uh huh. And fourth. Column. Fourth column. Very good. Fourth column is second class row. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Where is plane? Plane? Okay. And so Mm hmm so what what tell me what uh, i want you guys to tell me columns and line sorry columns and rows it's in sure what the different what mm -hmm. the difference between row and line uh well a row is specifically when you have many like this, like that would be a row. Like, like for example, you have rows when uh, you go to a concert or when you go to the cinema. So usually um, those are like when you have like a box, let's say a box, you have columns and lines, sorry, and, and rows, right? Okay, oh, and lines okay. can be anything. It's como filas. Mm -hmm. Exactly, yeah. Okay, so so where's so where's plane guys? Quick, quick, quick! Let's let's do as quickly as possible. Chicos, se me dormieron. And six column. No. Okay, six column. Very good. Okay, so and, and this one here. And then nine nine row. Ninth row. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, motorcycle. Three row. Third row. Third row. Mm -hmm. One column. First column. Fifth column. First, yeah. column. First column, third row. Very good. Usually we say the column first and then the, the row. Okay, so oh, okay. so first first column, third okay. row. Thank you. Mm -hmm. No problem. Okay. okay. Uh, subway. Where's subway? Uh huh. Where's subway? This is in the A column. 
eighth column in the last row in the last row um okay okay so very good Subway, no, uh, J. Okay, uh, truck. Where is truck? Because is this in the mm -hmm. yes, second, second what? Second column. Second column, okay. And the last row. row. Good. Okay, very good. Um, what about a helicopter? A helicopter mm -hmm. is in the fourth row. Fourth row, uh-huh. First column. First column. Very good. First column, fourth row. Very good. Taxi. Taxi is in the last column. Yes. And the eighth mm -hmm. row. Very good. Tenth. Tenth column, eighth row. Good. Ba bicycle. Bicycle. Mm -hmm. Where's bicycle? Basical is seven, seven column. Mm -hmm. And seven. one, two, three, four, five row. Fifth row, yes. Fifth, Fifth row. We use we need to use ordinal numbers. Very good. Fifth row. Excellent. And ship. The most difficult one. And the shift is the first row. First row? First column. First column, yes. Yeah. So first column, first first row. There you go. Bravo, excellent. All right, that's it. All right, very good. Let's move on then to the next part. Let's have this conversation here. So we have, listen to your teacher re, uh, read the conversation, then practice asking for directions to places. Okay, so before we start, um, let me explain to you, go by. We use go by to specify the, me the means of transportation you use from point A to point B. Some, some examples of this are go by bus. I'm going to go by bus. I'm going to go by plane. I'm going to go, sorry, go by car. I'm going to go by plane. I'm going to go by foot. I'm sorry. So by foot means walking. Okay. So we always use go by to talk about the means of transportation we're going to be using. So we have speaker A and speaker B. So we have, so listen and repeat after me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. How can I get? How can I get? How can I get? How can I get? To the airport. To the airport. To the airport. Airport. Well, the airport is very far. Well, oh, wait, the airport, the airport is very far. Very far. Very far away. Very far away. Way far away. You can go by taxi. 
Or you can drive. Or you can or drive. Or you can drive. Or you can drive. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thanks. Uh, I'm going to drive. I'm going to Thanks. drive. Thanks. I'm going to drive. But I need to rent a car. But I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Is there, Is there a car rental near, near, near here? here? Yeah. Is there a car near here? Sure. It's two blocks sure. down the street. Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. You can thanks a lot thanks thanks a lot thanks a lot all right any questions about the vocabulary yes yeah, teacher two questions here about the vocabulary no no teacher. no no teacher okay all right excellent um all right so i'm going to give you about two minutes because it shouldn't take you very long i'm going to give you two minutes to uh, practice this conversation with a partner okay and i'll send you the conversation in the chat in the WhatsApp chat. Okay. Have you received it? Yes, teacher, in this moment. Perfect. Okay, so yes, I'm wonderful. So I'm going to right now um, open up the rooms and just Practice very quickly, okay? So here we go. I'm opening the rooms. porque no oía nada. Vaya. Okay. Okay, ya. Yeah. Sí. Excuse me. Eh. How, how can I get I get to the the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go with taxi or you can drive. You can drive. You can Thanks. drive. Oh, I am going to drive to drive. But I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure. It's two blocks down 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 the street. You can go three be fog. You can go there by foot. Okay, you can go to be foot. Foot. Thanks a lot. Can you? Excuse me. Excuse me. How can I get to? Down the street, you can go there. Be food. Thanks a lot. 
Okay. Uh, in this case, um, you speaker A and me speaker B. You okay. start. Okay. Excuse. Me. How can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go be taxi or you can drive. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Um, I am going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rent near here? Sure, it's to be two blocks down the street. You can go. There it be there be foot. There by foot. There by foot. Foot. Tibet, are you okay? <laughs> All right. I I am well the the how do you say? You are going to visit Morpheo. <laughs> I thinking about the immortality cockroach. Okay, guys. Um, so. Can you see my slide? Yeah. Okay, so now it's gonna be your turn. Write the name of three different places around your company. So three different places. So the places that are around your company. Metro Center. So it can be like a, a specific hotel. It could be, a, um, it could be a hospital. A place that is near your company. A mall, a shopping mall. And it doesn't have to be like really, really near. It could be like maybe a kilometer away, two kilometers away, whatever. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the means of transportation that, um, that um, you can use to get to those places. Okay, so for example, if um, if the place is around the corner, you're probably not going to use a car, right? You're going to probably go by foot, right? Uh, but if the place is um, like a kilometer away, maybe you can go by car or by bus or by taxi. Okay. And so what you're gonna do right here is you're going to write the means of transportation and then write the question. So can I go to, for example, so let, let's say I'm gonna, I'm going to write this down so you guys can get the idea. Let's say, okay, so, um, all right, so Inglés Corporativo. I don't know if you guys have ever gone to Inglés Corporativo, but Inglés Corporativo, is um, 
on uh, Calle El Mirador, uh, clo or better said close, it's not on Calle El Mirador, but, but it's very close to Calle, eh, Calle El Mirador, um, in, in El Escalón. So um, let's say that I am talking about the World Trade Center, okay? So the place is the World Trade Center. Is there any other than the World Trade Center, right? Oh, or to make it easier, by but I think no, no, not fácil. Torre Futura. Torre Futura is near Ingus Corporativo. So I'm going to put here car, and I say, can I go to Torre Futura? I go to Torre Futura by car, and the answer is, um, yes, I can. It's it, it's going to be very, very close. It's probably going to take me like two minutes to get there, or maybe even one, no, about two minutes, maybe two minutes to get to Torre Futura, but I can go there by car. I can also go there by 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 foot and it's going to take me maybe like probably i don't know seven minutes to get there by by foot okay so i want you to write down three different places that are near your your place of work All right. ¿Cómo vamos? I'm making the first, first question. You're making the first question? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, are we finished? Finish, guys? Finish, teacher. Yes, teacher, finish. Yeah, okay, all right. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take turns asking each other how to get to those places. So um, so let's say Torre Futura, like, so I'm going to say, okay, so Torre Futura is near my workplace and my partner's can ask, can you go there by car or can you go there by bus or can you go there by by train or can you go there by foot, et cetera, et cetera, and you're gonna answer, okay? Do we understand? 
Just the chair. Okay. Yes, my ace. All right. Um, I don't think you're gonna need this, but just in case, I will send you um the this this um what's it called um the 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 table. Okay. Like I said, I don't think you're gonna need it, but just just in case, I'll send it to you. Okay, so I'm I'm going to put you in the same breakout room with the same partner be as before. Okay, and here we go. I'm opening the rooms. Carlos? Carlos is saying? Carlos. Si puede ir donde a ese lugar. Y sacar o walking. Uh -huh. Puede ser. O vas, o taxi. Pero vamos, no me quedaría. Can you get there by foot? Can you get there by taxi? Can you get there by train? Can you get there by by bus? Can you get there by taxi? Etc. Etc. Et so you don't need to write anything. Just yes, yes I can. No, I can't. Yes, I can. No, I can't. Mm -hmm. See. Porque de hecho tienen menos de dos minutos. O sea, okay. no van a estar escribiendo nada. Ok. okay. Entonces, um, eh, con este mismo ejemplo, quiere. Ok. Yeah. And first, Eli Sauce. Ok. In my case, um, the place hospital uh, means on transportation is go by car. And the question, can I go to hospital by car? And the answer is yes, I can. Yes, I can. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. In your case, the number three. Number three. And place the light source. Okay. Um, the transportation is in bus. Go by bus. Go, okay. Go by bus. Mm, the question and uh, can I go to a uh, light source by cars? I uh, an answer is yes. I am bus, brother. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Okay. okay. Thank you, Diana. It's wonderful. Um, Carlos? Um, 
in my case, if you write the, the place at the school, the main of the transportation, motorcycle. And the question uh, for me would be, may I go at the school in motorcycle? And the answer, yes, of course. Okay. All right, guys and girls. Um, all right, any questions so far? Anything you want to ask about before we continue? No? Okay. All right. Um, in that case, Everything is clear. I think it's clear. Okay, perfect. Okay. Please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Yes, I can see the chart. Perfect. Okay. So now let's talk yes, about. Miss. Yep. Perfect. So let's talk about using the verb get and the verb go. So look at the words in bold and complete the sentences. Okay, so we have here first sentence. Um, how can I get to the trade center? Okay, how can I get to the trade center? I'm going to rent a car as soon as I get to Panama. I usually get to the office at 6 a.m. Okay. So use get to ask for directions or to emphasize the idea of motion from A to B or arrival. What would it be? Do we use it to emphasize the motion of moving from point A to point B, or does it mean arrival? Yes, I think it's arrival. You think it's arrival? What do the rest of you guys think? Is it the motion of moving from motion. A? To you think it's the motion? One place to one place, I think. The motion. What do you guys think? I wonder, I have two opinions. What about the rest? Chicos? Any ideas? It actually means the arrival. So when I say, how can I get to, to the trade center? It means, how can I arrive? How can I arrive to the trade center? If I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to rent a car as soon as I arrive to Panama. I usually arrive to the office at 6.30 a.m. That's what it means. Okay? Does that make sense? Yeah? Okay. Okay. Es como decir a la hora que va a llegar. Mm -hmm. Arrive, yes, arribar. Okay. The next one is, how do you go to work? 
I'm going to go to the conference center after I check in. I go home around 6 p 7 p.m. So we use go to, to specify the means of transportation or to emphasize the idea of motion from A to B or arrival. What would it be? Mm -hmm. Do we use go to specify the means of transportation or to emphasize the idea of, sorry, the, to specify the means of transportation or to emphasize the idea of motion, so change, moving from A to B or the arrival? Hello. From A to B. I don't know. Yes, it's the motion from A to B. So it's how you go from point A to point B. Okay, how you're going to get from one side to the other side. Okay, so how do I go to how do you go to work? It means, what is the means of transportation that you use to go from your house to work? I'm going to go to the conference center after I check in. It means I'm going to move from, uh, from where I am to the conference center after I check in. So usually the, from the hotel to the conference center. I go home around 7 p.m., usually like from your your work, right? So I'm at work and then I'm going to go home. So what is the 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 way we're going to be using it? Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yes, miss. Yeah. Okay, I want to make sure that you guys do understand this. So just do this with me, this activity. See if we do understand it. So we're going to buy a charger when we get to the airport. It means when we arrive to the airport. Let's do number two. Alex says, Sophie, how do you mm, to work? And Sophie says, by car. Notice her answer. Her answer is by car. So what is what are we going to use? Are we going to use go or get? Go. Go. What do you guys say? I heard one go and the others? Los demás, chicos? Hello? Chicos, necesito sus respuestas. As it, all you have to say is go or get. No so difícil. Just go, go or get. I think it's go. I think get. Think go. Some people say get. Get. It's go. How go. do you? But, uh... No, sorry. Um, sorry. Yeah. No, sorry. So yes, it's go, go, go. Correct. Go to work. And because you notice you said by car. So we're talking about the means of transportation of getting from point A to point B. So whenever you see by, it means go to, because it's talking about the means of transportation. Okay. Next. Okay. The trainer is going to, to the production plan after the meeting. The trainer is going to go or the trainer is going to get? To get. Is get. 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 
get. Get. Get. Go. The train is going to go to the transport to the production plan after the meeting. So after the meeting, so you're you're in a place in the meeting and you're going to travel. The trainer is going to travel to the production plant. Oh. They're going to go from point A to point B. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes, yeah. Okay. All Number right. four. Okay. Yeah. Excuse me. Can how can I to the bus station? Get. Get. Yes. How can I get to the bus station? How can I arrive there? ¿Cómo puedo llegar? La mm indicación. -hmm. Mm -hmm. The bank is really near. You can go or get. 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 Go. Go. You get. can go by foot. Go. The by so foot. Remember, remember, by. ¿Se acuerdan lo que les dije? Whenever you have by, it's definitely going to be go. Go by. Mm -hmm. You go to by somewhere. Okay. With get. Get get means arrive. So go means to move from one place to the other. Okay. And finally, I'm going to call you when I. Go or get. Mm -hmm. I get. Right. Exactly. When I get to the hotel, it means when I arrive to the hotel. Does that make sense? And um, in the in the number five is no arrive uh on the bank. No, because you're not. No, no because you uh, says it's the you says the bank is really near, so we're we're emphasizing how you're going to get to the bank. What is the way you're going to get there? What's the means of transportation? And the means of transportation is by foot. By foot, okay. Mm -hmm. A pie. Voy a llegar a pie. Significa que. Si voy a llegar a pie, significa que tengo, empiezo de un lugar y termino en otro. So it's the means of ¿Qué transporte. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Does that make sense? So, so go is emphasizing a, the means of transportation of going from point A to point B. And get means arrive. Yes. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to take attendance right now to finish off our class. Uh, remember, I need your cameras on for the attendance. Okay. Ana Victoria Galán. Present teacher. Wonderful. Um, Asadi Melanie. Present teacher. Good night, everybody. Eh, Carlos Alberto Reo. Carlos Eliezer Dimas. I hear teacher. Eh, Denise Alejandra Zuniga. Denise. Creo que estamos teniendo problemas. Diana Jamilet. Maravi. Eh, sorry. Ok. Very good. Edita Dilia Hernández. Parece. Ok. Uh, Emerson Adiel Reyes. Ismael Ernesto Boyat. I'm here. Good night, everybody. Jorge Ernesto Hernández. Present teacher. Marlon Daniel Miranda. También creo que tenía estaba teniendo problemas. María Elizabeth Lazo. Present teacher. Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa. Present. Sandra Ivette Mendoza. 
here, teacher. Sarah Rachel Salazar. Sarah Rachel. Espera que Sara estaba conectada. Yes, teacher. Sí, pero tuvo problemas mm -hmm. con el internet. Mm -hmm. Sergio Chamorro Calero. También creo. Está sí, bien. estaba conectado. Mm -hmm. Sí. Elizabeth. Presente, chef. Ok, perfect. Ok, bueno. Al, eh, si alguien necesita ayuda con algo, eh, aquí estoy unos cuantos minutos más, de lo contrario. That's it, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. No se olvide, por favor, necesito que todos se conecten mañana porque mañana hacemos eh, la, la encuesta y eso es parte de su... Um, de los requisitos para, para este curso. Entonces necesito que todos estén conectados mañana. ¿Ok? Si alguien quiere quedarse, con gusto, aquí estoy. De lo contrario, nos vemos mañana. Okay. 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 Okay.